Right, what's up, Mentality Changers? Welcome to another episode and to the very first debate that we're going to have on the channel. Uh, as a guest with me, I've got an old friend, Byron. What's up, Byron? How are you doing, man? How's it, Steph? How you been, man? So what the topic we're discussing is ghosts. Are, are they real? Should we be afraid of them? Uh, myself and Byron, we've had a few experiences uh, together concerning ghosts. Uh, we've, we've played a game called Lucy Lucy, which was quite fun. Had quite a few of us freaked out. Um, so that was quite cool. All right. Uh, before we get into the actual debate, um, just an introduction to... So we, we both have two opposing views on this. So we, you would say that, that, that ghosts are real and I say that they're not real. And obviously both of that, we can't, they can't both be true. So either one of us is wrong on, on, on this topic. Now, um, if we go about this in the right way and actually, actually have the discussion in the right way, then what should happen is that, well, if, if I understand everything that you understand at some point and you understand everything I understand at some point, then one of us should change our mind and we should reach a point where we yeah, now, now, now agree on the topic. So that's if we do everything right. Correct. But now what comes into play as well is, is the psychological aspect, um, which, which is where, where people have a lot of the times have a hiccup and that's why, why they don't find agreement. Uh, so for yourself, uh, you would have to look at all the situations in your life where um, you would have said that it was a ghost. So if it came, if if the arguments I brought were really good and and that led you to change your mind, that you would have to overcome that psychological aspect and accept the fact that all those times in in your past when you thought about you know, it was ghost, you would have to accept that it that it wasn't one. Uh, so that's that's the uh, personal admitting to yourself personally um, that you have to change your mind about all of those things, and it's it's accepting and and changing all of those situations in your mind, which is really difficult for most people to do. So that's the one aspect. Then the other aspect is uh, that comes into play now is that that we are live. So now it's not just admitting to yourself; it's also admitting to to others that that you've now changed your, your mind on this subject. So that's on your side. On my side, it's exactly the same. Well, it's not exactly the same. It's a little bit different, but I would have <laughs> to, I would now also have to consider the, the reality of, of the existence of, of the spiritual world or something like that, which, which might be a little bit difficult for me to do. And that, that's where I also need to uh, face, the, face the truth. So what I do have is that, that the truth is the most important thing to me. So it makes that a little bit easier, but it's still not easy. It wouldn't be an easy thing for me to accept. And then also coming into play is the, the admitting to others thing, which I think is a little bit easier for me as well in this case, because if I can admit to being wrong on the channel on this one, it shows a bit of a humility, which would be good for me in my case. <laughs> um, in any case, so that is that's that's what we're looking at here but um let's actually get into the topic now and and talk about the so i'm, I'm going to hand it over to you byron now to to start, start the discussion on that cool steph uh thank you once again i just want to thank you once again for allowing me to actually come on the show and share my point of view with you and with all your viewers and um it's just going to be a really awesome experience. I know from previous experiences, having debates with you is a real fun, entertaining thing to do. Yeah. And you always do put a different twist and make you think differently. So it's always an awesome thing to do. So um, putting that aside, I would love to jump right in and get started. So my belief on ghosts, I, be I believe from what I've heard from other people, from stories on the internet, from what you hear in your churches as a religious person, you hear about spirits and ghosts as a general. And this is one of the main things that helps me believe in ghosts being there as a general, the fact that they have been spoken about since the 1700s in every language possibly known to man, there is a word for ghost. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things that backs me up personally. Mm -hmm. Then secondly, uh, you go into the whole 
what experiences you have had as a person which helps you with your belief. A lot of people haven't experienced anything to do with anything spiritual or ghost because that's not what they want to open themselves to. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that have experienced it and just call it off in the name of science or whatever you want to put a reasonable uh, thing to accept what's happening to you in your life just so that it's not scary to your mind. But uh, in the whole, there's so many different aspects that you have to look at when you're talking about uh, if ghosts are real, if they have the ability to hurt you, if they're if they depicted like they are in the horror movies where they these scary things that you have to fear. There's so many different aspects to what people look at and the actual reality behind what there is of spirit or ghost, as you will call it. And uh, in my personal view, it's nothing like what you'd see in any of the horror movies. It, it's nothing scary. It's not something that you have to fear for your life for. Mm -hmm. um, there have been many cases where you've seen ghosts have the ability to move inanimate objects and uh, maybe play on a person's mind, but there's not many cases that you see where a ghost is hurting a person or anything mm -hmm. along those lines. Mm -hmm. so, so the way I like... As a start, you would, you would say that um, even if they are real, you, you, there's no reason to fear them at all. So they, they, they can't yeah. harm you. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that would be my belief because I've never been harmed by a ghost. Mm -hmm. I don't know anyone that has. I know people that have claimed stories with no physical proof, but there's so many of those. It's like uh, another Tom, Dick and Harry story, you know? Yeah, yeah. I get, so to the first one, I, I understand why you say that. Um, so we're talking about like how, how there's been talks of ghosts uh, throughout history. Um, now, my only concern with that is is that it's for for, for you personally, it's 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 based on hearsay. So it's it's not a yeah. it's not an experience that you've had y yourself, which means it's it's not sound enough evidence. Um, but I, I, I do understand where you're coming from. So I do understand where you're coming from. If, if you have slim, similar experiences, um, if, if you, and if those experiences are similar through, throughout different nations, then um, it, it does hint towards uh, the, the actually being, being some truth to it. So um, I, I don't entirely disagree with that. That, that, is, that is quite quite a valid point. Um, mm. So what I would say to that though is is so this ties into personal experience as well is is okay let's take it from this angle um, what what is it exactly that you experienced and is is there are, are there other explanations for it so if if I walk into a room and so I I, I come home and then I I find um, a man st uh, standing over, over somebody that's, that's bleeding out on the floor with a knife in his hand. Um, the first thing that would come to mind is that he's, he's, a, mur he's a murderer, but there's, there's alternative ex explanations. So there are, are always alternative explanations that we can give to a situation. So I, I think I'm gonna, I'll, I'll ask you that question. If, if we look at your personal experiences, just the experiences that you had yourself, um, maybe we could go through them one for one and then you can, in, instead of giving us the, the ghost explanation of it, what do you think could are possible other explanations for, for the experience that you had? I like doing this as well, uh, seeing if you could actually break down what, what is happening to yeah. you in your spiritual thing and turn it into just the normal scientific reason of why it's actually happening. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. I'll st I'll start with an experience that me and you had together playing Lucy Lucy, yeah. which is that game with the matchsticks where you roll them all together with yes, no, and maybe on it, and you get your answers from that. Um, I don't, I don't, I personally don't actually believe that that is a hundred percent solid proof because uh, you're not getting any. Uh, anything that could actually give you solid evidence of ghosts when you play a game like that you're just going off of chance because you, you don't know if uh if the matchsticks coming out by luck or by anything you don't know how the person's rolled it you don't know what the science is behind how many times the 
the toilet paper gets rolled. So that is a completely debunkable one. But another experience of mine that I can tell you about that I cannot break at all. Mm -hmm. We played with a Quiji board, you know, the one with the full dictionary on it and Mm -hmm. yes no all the numbers and everything and we played this for about an hour myself my fiance um one of my best friends you also know him luke and um dylan my brother mm -hmm. we all played this for a good hour or two carrying on asking uh continuous questions and so we felt one of those uh unnervedly chilling feelings cross through all our bodies at the same time and this is when I actually assumed that it had gotten to a real point of a spirit being there or a ghost presence or a demon or what you'd like to call it. So we continued to ask questions. And uh, one of the questions were, uh, uh, how is my fiance going to die? And um, the ghost said, I'm going, uh, I'm going to eat you. And then it followed to say, but only after you're in a car accident with myself as the driver and my two best friends in the seat. This is what we continued asking questions until it gave us the continuous answers of getting who was all in the car with us and everything. And letter by letter, it's all their names. Yeah. Yeah. So just to and clarify, it's, it's, a, it's the three of you holding it and then you would ask a question and then uh, the three of you moving to, uh, together it would, it would bring yes. up the different letters that spelt that out. Okay. Yes. So we continued and then it said that uh, she would die in a car accident before she turns 21. And um, I'd say a month after that, we were in a car accident where I was driving and uh, both my best friends were in the back seat, like it had said. Uh, it was just before her 21st birthday. And uh, a huge, uh, one of those concrete slabs went flying through the window. But the night before that, my grandmother had died and she had been taking care of uh, my grandmother. So we kind of looked at that as like a guardian angel moment. But exactly oh, the way that uh, it was described to us on the Creedy board, um, it happened in those exact means. There was not a single thing that it got wrong. Okay. All right. See, these these ones are very difficult for me. Like, I, I think you and Luke um, have, have told me about another story as well, where where a friend of your, yours recently died, and then um, yes. one of one of the books yes. just flew off off of, of the bookshelf. So yes. it's I I have to say I I have myself never experienced. Um, anything like that but again this is where you would say that it's it's because I don't open myself up to to those experiences or people don't not necessarily not not necessarily not opening yourself up it's yeah. just um, like like they say with the th a third R kind of thing you're just not looking for it so when it happens you think that it, it's it, there's no possible but there's no possibility that it uh, it could possibly be a ghost Mm -hmm. uh, and this happens so often that if there were cases of it happening, so many people in the world would just go, oh, well, it can't possibly be a ghost. Mm -hmm. And it just happens. Okay. Um, okay. So um, my, my personal experiences that I've gone through, it's every time it, it, I've, I've even had uh, friends around me uh, or exes or, you know, uh, people around me that, that, and I've, I've been present when, when they've um, had these supernatural experiences and not, none of them were as extreme as, as those two examples that, that you have now, but, but uh, when, whenever those experiences happen with me around, um, the, the person having the experience would, would freak out from, from the situation. And whereas I would stay calm and I would analyze the situation and see that there's, there's nothing supernatural going on. Um, so I'm, I'm going to get back to, to the, the, the stories that we're talking about now, but um, just other experiences that, so even, even while I was around you guys, there, there was uh, the one time where um, you and Dylan had a feeling in, in, inside the house and first you had the feeling and then Dylan um, there, I didn't see it. Uh, okay, not the best example. We had we had a radio which um, suddenly turned on in in the house, and then it turned out that it, it was just a, a loose connection on on the radio. 
Um, I, I've had a, a friend that, that freaks out every time because the light flickers uh, whenever she goes into the kitchen, but it's, it's a fluorescent light, so the light does flicker. Mm -hmm. In any case, from my experiences, all I'm trying to say is from my personal experiences, when, whenever I've had experiences like that, I've gone and examined it and then it turned out not to be anything. Um, my girlfriend once opening a cupboard in the middle of the night and then seeing a ghost and shutting the, the, the cupboard again, I then got up straight away, switched on the lights and went to check the cupboard and it was just a uh, coat that was hanging in the cupboard. So for me, at that, for me that says that she, she freaked out too quickly, didn't examine it properly and then, and then just saw a jacket. Then, but this, this is, that I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the, 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 the two stories which you have are, are very tricky ones. So I'm, I'm going to get to those now. I'm just starting from the easier stuff. Um, so then, then there was the, the Lucy Lucy game, which we played. Um, so yes. when, we, when we first started playing it, um, I, I was almost convinced because it boggled my mind. I couldn't make sense of it. Um, these, you, you roll up the toothpick in, 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 inside uh, the toilet paper and the, the, the toothpick shouldn't come out of the toilet paper. You, you're falling it inside the toilet paper and rolling it up. That there's, no ways, there's no physical way for it to, to, to come out. And yet they, they kept, the, the toothpicks kept coming out. Um, so you guys first told me about this game and a lot of people are weary about trying out these games because you, in, in a sense you're opening up yourself up to these things. Whereas I said to myself, I don't believe in these things and you guys are having this experience and I want to know what's behind this experience. So I'm going to open myself up to this experience so that I can see what's going on. So I can tell myself, because I, I, what matters to me is the truth. I'm not going to shut myself off from, from the truth. I'm going to open myself up to it and find out what is actually going on in the universe. If ghosts are real, if spirits are real, I want to know about it. So I, I played, with you. so I, I, I played the game with you guys and I was hell bent convinced on it, but I, I still applied that, that same uh, kind of thinking while I was having that experience with you guys, where I said to myself, okay, one option, one possibility is that this is ghosts. That is at the moment with the evidence that I have here, that is a possibility. I can't write it out. I can't cross it off, but what are the alternatives? So I, I even went to extreme alternatives. Hey, maybe this is some alien technology or that, is, that is tapping into us. It, it's crazy. It's like these, these are crazy uh, ideas or explanations. But let's consider all the possibilities. I mean, who's to say that, that uh, thinking that ghosts are real isn't crazy? It's, it's about as crazy as thinking that aliens are real or as crazy as thinking that, that somebody used a, a transmitter in the U.S. to, to do something, you know? Um, so I was having this experience and I couldn't make sense of it. And then I took it home and, and, um, and you guys told me to, I, I need to close the game. And I thought, okay, otherwise the ghost is going to follow me. So, and I decided no stuff that I'm not going to close the game. This, if this ghost wants to follow me, she, she can follow me or it, it, he, he, she can follow me. That's fine. Um, and then I carried on analyzing it at home until, um, a friend of mine, Nico, actually, um, so I, I was unwrapping the toilet paper, unwrapping it, trying to figure out how this toothpick is, is popping out until a friend of mine noticed that, that it's, it's the, the toilet paper on the one end that, that just flips over. It just flips over and then the to toilet paper rolls out the, the other way around. And then, so th this is an example where, where I analyzed it again and then I came to it, it, it eventually revealed itself as not being anything supernatural. But now, now we have to go back to the story that, that you told, which, so the book flying with the bookcase, there I would say it, it, could, be, it could be some <laughs> physical thing that happened. But now this, this new example that you told me is quite a- Yeah, um, you see a lot, of, a lot of the times I've also, I, I'm a skeptic myself, Steph, you, you know this for a fact. A lot yeah. of the times I also, I cross question myself because of my personal beliefs. I also try and look at every single alternative that there possibly could be to a certain thing. But when something is completely unexplainable, I, I personally cannot put any scientific mm -hmm. or physical 
uh, background to something that's happening around me, then I start thinking, well, maybe it's an unearthly, uh, different type of universe or a different type of spiritual universe that is manipulating the thing around me. Like with the book that flew off the shelf that you keep mentioning, yeah. we, uh, that was the day that we had been told about him uh, hanging himself, our friend. And yeah. we were sitting talking about it. And I remember saying uh, to my friend Luke, saying, I-, I can't believe he did this. Why would he do it? He's really such an idiot. And there it flew across the room from where no one was sitting with more force than what you could possibly get with yeah. any type of gust don't, of wind. Don't call, don't call me an idiot. <laughs> Chuck a book at you. <laughs> no, like, and this is, this is one of the things that I, I kind of thought about. I thought like, okay, maybe it is him. Maybe it is a spiritual being that's just gotten angry because of uh, me calling him an idiot. And then um, I, I also, I continued to look at every different situation that happened with, to me with a, a different point of view, trying to look at different uh, ways that it could have happened. And, um, and then that car accident happened after playing with the Ouija board. And um, that wasn't one of the only things that that, and just by the way, uh, the spirit we spoke to uh, called himself Godzo. Mm-hmm. That is who we spoke to. And it actually predicted, uh, I'd say, four things that came accurate. Um, One of them was uh, between which one of my grandparents would have died first because my grandmother was uh, very ill on her deathbed. And uh, we asked, uh, how's it gonna happen? And uh, he said, my grandfather will die first in the month of May. And it happened uh, because we asked as well, when? So my grandfather died in the month of May on my mom's birthday. And uh, we didn't see it coming at all. I'd completely forgotten about the Ouija board uh, incident where it had said this because I don't live my life pondering on things that have happened. I don't try and hold that there in my memory forever just to try and uh, put an understanding to something. I'll just continue to look for a different understanding. And then then after the car, uh, uh, this was before the car accident where my grandfather died. And that was in uh, the May. And um, he passed uh, on the same month that the spirit said. And then a month later, as the demon said as well, my grandpa. So something that I wanted to mention in the, in the beginning, which I forgot to mention, is, is I, I think when it comes to discussions like this, um, a lot of times what happens is we will end the discussion and then afterwards, um, I'll be thinking about it throughout the next week. And then I think I'll, I'll think, Oh should I should have said that. And I should have said this. Mm. And I'm sure, sh- and I'm sure this same thing would happen with, with you. Um, yeah, so, yeah. so with discussions like this, what, what I really want to do is, is actually, um, ha- have, have a second take on it. So after 100%. we've, after, after we've said everything that we've said, yeah, let's give each other a chance to actually think about it. Think about what the other person has said. Yeah and then yeah. um, revisit the, the topic. With, with that being said, um, mm. I, if, if, if those situations happen to me, this, this is what, um, this is the, the, the explanations that, that I would, uh, um, would, which, would, 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 which I would think is most likely to, to ex- ex- explain the, what happened. So the, those experiences which, which you had. Um, so with, with the, with the, what's it called? The Ouija board. It's Ouija board. Hey? Yeah. Um, so, so for me, what would make, again, not discredit crediting what, what, what you said, I'm, 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 it, 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 it's quite convincing, uh, those experiences that, that you had, but the, the, the way, the way I would rationale it is, is with the Ouija board, there's there's three of us with with um, hands on on that chip that we are moving around, and yes. it wouldn't surprise me if there's just some psychological aspect that 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 makes us move move that together to to spell out a, a word. However, it might be that's that's in play, or one of the participants that's just messing around with the other one. But I, I know all three of you and I don't think that that is, I don't think that's the answer, but there might be some psychological aspect that's at play. 
where it, and then yeah, yeah. and then when when it comes to when it comes to predicting the the, the future so what what i learned years ago is 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 if if you if you predict if you predict the future those those things tend to come come true just because you you subconsciously tend to lead your life to in 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 in, in that direction now with your grandparents passing away i don't see i don't see how that could at all be because of you leading your life in the direction that your grandparents would pass away on a certain month um but that my my reasoning would go in that in that direction where and then also the the, the other aspect that comes into play is never underestimate the power of com coincidence so oh, yes ne you never can yeah so the, the 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 probability of a coincidence happening is is it's it's impossible for it not to uh, 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 the okay th put it like this we have eight billion people on on earth that's a hell of a lot of people eight billion people though all of those people are living a lifetime of six, around 60 years more or less and that is a lot of moments for some instance to happen that's so that's 60 years of one minute times 8 billion people that's a hell of a lot of moments where something could happen at the same time as what something else happens and then you'll have that coincidence and then people will experience that coincidence and they will assign it to something and then that and then tell everyone else about it which will then create then this belief system because that person had that experience so coincidences are very likely um okay so that, that that's 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 one of one that's one approach to this topic is is so that that's how i would explain all, all of those situations but this at the same time i don't think that is enough to to discredit the spiritual world or the existence of ghosts it's just an alternative explanation so yes uh, there, there's there's my alternative explanation but now what we what we can do is take it from another angle and and try and find ways to like are are they i don't want to say ways to discredit the the spiritual world because that's the the wrong way of going about things but are they it's more a question is are they things that discredit the that that make make the whole spiritual world thing illogical that it's that it's not possible that it that it can't be and if you can find enough sound arguments then now you've got two explanations and the, the one's been discredited and the, and the other not you, you know what i mean yeah um, I, I do understand 100 percent. okay I, i've spoken for a while is there something that you you want to say at this point uh in my, in my personal opinion i i've tried to discredit uh the spiritual world um quite a lot in my life i've tried to prove that it's not real try tried to prove that there's no possible way of it at all and um one thing that helped me believe in it more than ever i'd have to say is um throughout my life i've always been very scared of death mm -hmm. and i've always wanted to astral travel and try and uh, leave my body and see if there is a possible way of being uh an entity or a spirit or whatever you'd like to call it i'd just say a being outside mm -hmm. of your physical being and um for many years of my life uh, I, I kept trying night in and night in and it never happened and then um the one night i just stopped trying and by god it actually happened and um i i, I won't lie to you all i did was stand and look at my body mm -hmm. and um got really scared and woke up mm -hmm. and that was basically the the whole experience but i have seen my body from outside my body which also makes me question if there is a possibility of spiritual or not um along those lines how from from a psychological standpoint just just for from your own um mental health or security um how important is the afterlife to you? 
Like, the, does it, uh, the, does, does it give you a sense of security or do you think you, you would be fine without, without it ex existing? It, it used to, it used to play on my mind like a lot until I astral traveled. And then the, the second, or I, I wouldn't even call it astral traveling. The second I saw my body and I felt everything that I was as a, as a person or as a being in a different place, completely disconnected from my body. I had, I've never even thought about it again. I've never, I've never thought about if I die, what's going to happen. I'm just curious to see what will when it happens. Okay. No, no, I understand. I understand where you're coming from. So it's, it's more, um, whatever the outcome is, you're okay with it. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. Even if, it, even if it ends up me being nothing, because that has been said for hundreds of years, once you're dead, you know nothing at all in Christianity and in uh, Buddhism. It's said that uh, there's not much of an afterlife, that you won't know yourself. It's just almost a step into another world that some religions, uh, some other religions like Hinduism call it, like a reincarnation. But um, I don't look at it like that. I just look at it as uh, there has to be something more. Or okay. there, there doesn't have to be something more. Maybe we, we, this is it. it it's, that, that's, actually, we, we were saying we wanted to, to do a video on all, the afterlife, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, so I, I, think, I think that is another very important one and a, bit, a very big one because, mm -hmm. because it will... Uh, it, it does give you that that security it does it it, it, ha, it has a major effect um on, on your own life what, what you think about the afterlife um so that that's definitely a topic that uh that i want to talk to you about um on, on this channel sometime okay yeah. um i i think we we wrap it up for this week um over there yeah. but I'd, uh, a week from now, I'd like to to revisit this topic with you and and uh, well, specifically ghosts. Talk about ghosts again, and we'll we'll do the the afterlife at some some other point. Cool, Byron, man. you were fucking awesome, dude. Great having you on the well, channel. Seth, yourself, dude. It's all it's always cool talking to you. It gives you a different twist on life completely. I can assure you for the next five days straight, I am going to be thinking things differently, analyzing. And I actually can't wait for the, for the next time we talk about it. Um, it's going to be very cool. And further. And you too. thanks for having me on once again. Sweet, Byron. Glad to uh, look forward to hearing your thoughts, man. Cool, man. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. All right, guys. Um, that's the end of our first debate session on, on change the mentality. Um, as you can tell, it wasn't quite a debate as it's more a discussion. So that's what I want to try and do on the channel is, is I want to understand your point of view and really take it in. And I want to share my points of, of view on, of view on it. So that it, th this is a learning process. It's meant to be a learning process for, 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 for my viewers and for myself. And I expect myself to also grow a lot from, this channel and from the experiences that I'll have and the discussions I'll have from this channel. So yeah, um, if you're interested in being on the channel, if you'd like to be a guest, if there's a topic that's important to you, um, please leave a comment in the comment section below, below follow, uh, of the topic that you want to talk about, followed by hashtag change the mentality. And this topic can be, be about any, anything. It can be about life, about philosophy, psychology, um, physics even, if you're a physics Boston. Um, we can talk about uh, science stuff, like uh, important things in the world in, regarding science, um, politics. So yeah, anything, just uh, leave a comment in the comment section below followed by hashtag change the mentality. Thanks so much for watching guys. Ciao.